All right, Shalom family. So I want to share with you a book called Modern Judaism. All right, it was uh, written by John Allen. You can see uh, this book was published in uh, 1830. All right, so we're going to open up to the page. We're going to show you the traditions, the traditions concerning the Edomites. Now, I'm going to upload this book to my website. So I, so, uh, so I have a PDF store. And I have a whole bunch of books on there, Russian icons, Jewish Encyclopedia, uh, Black's Law Dictionary, all these different books. And, but I want you to understand, if you get the PDF, and here in the book, is uh, this is going to be on page 231, but on the PDF, it's uh, page 226. So it's like uh, six pages off. All right, let's read this. That the descendants of Esau, the sworn enemies of the descendants of Jacob, even to the end of the world, were at first a small nation, inhabiting Mount Seir and adjacent country, contiguous to the land of Canaan, that they were easily continued or confined within their own land or limits, as long as the Israelites enjoyed a great and, form and formidable empire in Canaan. But that, after the powerful republic of the twelve tribes were destroyed by the Assyrians and the Babylonians, the wonderfully increase in numbers and strength extended their dominion to, uh, towards the west, spread their colonies far and wide, subjugated Italy, founded Rome and the Roman Empire, at length entirely overturned the Jewish state, which had been restored after the termination of the Babylonian captivity. The second temple being destroyed by Titus Vespasian. All right. Let's, let's jump down to here. Esau, detaining in captivity his brother Jacob, at least as far as regards the tribe of Judah, till his Messiah ben David shall appear. Secondly, that the prophecies of the prophets against Esau, Edom, Seir, and the cities of Edom, especially those of Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Obadiah, have not yet received their full accomplishment. That though the house of Esau has experienced some particular judgments of the Most High on account of the injuries in different periods of time inflicted upon Israel, yet the final vengeance on account of that last and great and the greatest injury, the destruction of the Second Temple by Titus and the transportation of the Jews into captivity, in which they are still most a, a previously detained is yet impending over it to be executed in the time of the Messiah that this is foretold by the prophets in all their denunciations of the severest of the severest plagues against the house of Esau the cities of Edom and Mount Seir which all belong to Rome and the Christians and the fate of the Christians is that time will be far more dreadful than that of the Mohammedans, which means the Muslims. That means more than the Arab captivity. The captivity that the Christians have put on the Israelites, their punishment is going to be more worse than the Arabs. Uh, particularly says, the slaughter of the Turks in the, in the future battle will not be so great as that of the Christians, for many of the Turks will escape according to Isaiah 19, but of the Christians, Obadiah says, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. So this is pertaining, showing that the Christians today, Christianity, they are the children of Esau. Now, of course, they've been mixed up with Japheth. Uh, I know that. So uh, uh, the Christians, the modern day Christians of today, they don't understand that they are the, they are these people. They are the children of Rome, and they are the people who actually enslaved the Israelites. They have no clue, but uh, they have a severe judgment coming for them. All right, Shalom. Uh, remember, you can download this book. I'm going to put it on my website, and you can download it. All right, Shalom.